Okay, next video. Something that I struggle with with high level is how does the client actually get the login details to use the software? And it seems very basic because I know it now, but I remember I was at a stage where I had no idea. So I'm gonna tell you right now how you give um, your client permissions and give them the login details to actually use your software. So let's go into that now. Okay, so let's say you're in a sub account. It can be any sub account, anyone. So what you wanna do is go down here to settings. You wanna go to my staff. And you wanna add employee. Now you get their name. I recommend f uh, making them fill a form out uh, when you're, once you're onboarding them. So you, you put any name like, I don't know, let's do John Smith basic wait yep now this is the important part of their email so i'm gonna pick an email and fill it out there okay i've got the email i'm gonna paste that in put any phone number passwords we can leave that leave passwords we'll uh high level will give them a password so when we go to user permissions now what's interesting about this is that we can control what they can use on their sub account. So if we don't want them to use the contracts, we can get rid of it. If we don't want them to use memberships, we can get rid of it. And we just have to save it down below, but my camera's in the way. We just save it right here. But obviously for now, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with everything on. And then I'm gonna show you how it works if you just wanna get, if you wanna get rid of some of their permissions. User roles, you can keep them admin or user. What I believe admin role is, is that it gives them extra features that they can use on their sub account. So they can do extra stuff like on the CRM, on the contact section, they can import or export um, CSV files of a whole list of leads, which they can then um, blast with messages or emails. The rest of this user availability, you can change that to what they like. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and yeah, once we save, now we've got someone here, which is an employee. Now, what's good about this now is that once we've put the email in, High Level will automatically send that person an email with login details. I'll show you that right now. And then once you've done that, I'll put a screenshot on screen right now, um, how it looks like to the client. So they can, they, they'll automatically get the email, they can log in, and then they'll have access to this account. But for example, like I said, you know how I, um, said I could remove permissions. Say if I remove permissions from um, this guy, a little test. If I remove permissions, like I got rid of the memberships options, I got rid of um, what else? If I just got rid of websites and I press save. Now, if I was to log in as that person, they wouldn't have this the sites tab, for example, because I didn't give them permission. So that wouldn't even be there in the options. Um, so that's how you can control what users can do what. So that's basically how it works. Now, if you guys are new to high level and you want someone to tutor you, help you, I have the best affiliate program on the planet. I, I'll throw up all the benefits on screen here. I'll throw up all the ben benefits on screen here and you can have a look about what everything that we offer inside of our affiliate, literally the best on the planet. So if this video was helpful in um, explaining how clients actually get their account, make sure you subscribe and yeah, comment if you've got any questions.